the uh, issues that has eroded some trust that we've seen is the issue of your email practices while you were Secretary of State. I think there's a lot of people who don't understand what your thought process was on mm -hmm. that. So can you tell me the story of how you decided to delete 33,000 emails and how that deletion was executed? Well, let's start from the beginning. Everything I did was permitted. There was no law, there was no regulation, there was nothing that did not give me the full authority to decide how I was going to communicate. Previous secretaries of state have said they did the same thing, and people across the government knew that I used one device. Maybe it was uh, because I am not the most technically capable person and uh, wanted to make it as easy as possible. But you said they, that they did the same thing, that they used a personal server mm -hmm. and, and well, a personal while facing email. a subpoena, deleted emails from... You know, you're starting with so many assumptions that are... I've never had a subpoena. There is nothing... Again, let's take a deep breath here. Everything I did was permitted by law and regulation. I had one device. When I mailed anybody in the government, it would go into the government system. Now, I didn't have to turn over anything. I chose to turn over 55,000 pages because I wanted to go above and beyond what was expected of me because I knew the vast majority of everything that was official already was in the State Department system. And now I think it's kind of fun. People get a real-time, behind-the-scenes look at, you know, what I was emailing about and what I was communicating about. Wearing but warm the, socks, as yeah, you said to John Podesta. Exactly. And, or, you Working know, a fax machine. <laughs> yeah, a secure fax machine, which is yes, harder to work than the, yes. than the regular. So, yes, this is being 